Hello my friends and welcome, my name is Denis and this is the latest update from Ukraine. Let's go to this military map because uh, we have some of the good news for Ukrainian army even though Russia took some of the territory in Donetsk region. So let me show you, it was yesterday and day before yesterday, last night, actually they moved forward with Donetsk, taking some of the territory. They used around 200 armored vehicles and tanks for that attack but they lost around 500 soldiers in a single one. So my friends, totally per day they lost 950 soldiers. Usually they lose 300 soldiers up to 500, but it is the record for the Russian army. They concentrated too many forces at the same spot and our artillery was ready for that particular attack and they were just demolished. It all happened near to the Donetsk airport. I used to fly there, quite a nice airfield, long runway, four kilometers. But from the information I got, this area is totally demolished for now and Russian forces retreated back. We don't see it on this military map update but we're gonna see it in the future so great success for ukrainian army on the south part the front line is not moving however we got the information from different resources that russia is moving out their artillery systems from this area it means that they're moving away their army basically they also moved from the chernobyvka airfield but also they're constructing some of the defense lines against ukrainian forces so for us it would be very hard to get the city under control and our officials say that we're going to take the city till the new year 2023 on the north side there is no new updates my friends the front line is stable however we got the information that the ukrainian army is getting ready for one more jump to attack uh, this area in Kharkiv region and also Lugansk our main points are Svartova and Krimina if the front line is stable it doesn't mean that there is no any fighting the fighting is very hard russian army is boiling there and they move new reinforcements including mobilized soldiers that are in lack of the military experience and today i'm going to show you how russians may drive their btrs destroying themselves in ukraine the rest parts of the front lines without any changes and now let me tell you something my friends i want to tell you about this comments on my channel so if you see the comments like that just under your comment under my videos do not pay attention my friends i try to block everyone who's using my picture and some sort of the number i do not have whatsapp account i do not have facebook yes i do have the telegram group but you may find it only in a video description or in my own pinned comment so do not follow scammers do not feed them they may ask you to donate they may ask you for some help i personally do not need any help and your donations are preferable they all in a pinned comment or in a video description so i just want to warn you since i have a very big and wide audience and some of you may not know about the scammers so be aware mobilized russian soldiers are so afraid going to fight in ukraine that they are putting some sand in a few tanks of their btrs and other armored vehicles it's the first time i see like that uh but maybe it's just a can standing on a btr maybe it's just a fake video oh no it goes directly to the fuel tank somewhere i think it is the fuel tank and smart move from the russian soldier great we'll have the air defense systems delivered to ukraine by italy together with france those are samp t and also a spade air defense systems and we need those because uh, russia still continue to use rockets and drones to hit our infrastructure Bayraktar is going to put air-to-air -air missiles to ukrainian drones and probably with the help of the tb2 and other types of the drones will be able to fight against the shahid iranian kamikaze drones yes so drones matter in a modern day war oh this video i want to show you my friends russian soldiers went under artillery fire and i cannot show you the full version of this video because it's against youtube policy uh, this video will be just restricted but still i will show you the last part of it then the russians are running away on btr so basically they are on btr 
uh, BTR is driving somewhere with a high, on a high speed and this guy is just losing the cap, but it's not the worst thing that expects them. They basically go from the road and turn over and collapse. Um, I don't know, maybe someone was injured. This guy who was filming, I didn't put the audio here, but he was screaming. Probably he was um, jammed with this BTR or something. It's just scary. More awesome news from Italy. They will send up to 30 units of the self-propelled artillery systems M109L. Those are 155 millimeter, very effective, and we already been using them on the front lines, but it's the first time that we got them from Italy. Awesome. You know, I worry a little bit that Berlusconi is some kind of the mate of the new prime minister of Italy, and Berlusconi continued to say that Putin is his friend and it's better not to give weapons to Ukraine, but still we have the deal and Italy supports us with weapons, it's awesome. After the recent drone attack on Sebastopol Harbor, Russia decided to left the grain agreement, but today Ukraine together with Turkey and United Nations agreed to restart the deal and we're gonna send 14 more ships this Monday to the Turkish coast. I hope Russia would not do anything. Those ships are mainly fracted by the international companies. Yes, they deliver the Ukrainian grains, but they work for many other foreign companies. So it's not in the interest of Russia to attack those ships. However, today Russians claim that those drones were sent from the commercial ships that went from Odessa port. Hmm, interesting. Finland will allow NATO to place nuclear weapons on border with Russia. Yes, Finland has a long border with Russia and I think they should have NATO bases on their territory because it's security. However, still there are two countries that didn't sign the agreement for Finland and Sweden to join NATO. Those are Hungary and Turkey. But after all, I think they will sign that membership. The New York Times said that it was a Ukrainian attack on Sebastopol Harbor using Western-made weapons. Mm, maybe, but it could be also a Russian provocation to stop the grain traffic from Ukraine. This is the Bloomberg article saying that Russia increases the export of the refrigerators, washing machines, vacuum cleaners and everything to Russia and mainly Russia does it for chips. They remove those from the washing machine for example and put it to Iskander to calculate coordinates to fire rockets somewhere to Ukraine. And because of that, we definitely see the logic of the Russian soldiers who take everything from Ukrainian houses, including washing machines. Probably they have some kind of compensations uh, from their command. There was some of the investigation done based on the video from the drone camera. The drone was a small boat that was filming the attack on those big ships of Russia and investigation says that that particular ship was Admiral Makarov because it has the same specific uh, types, marks or whatever. And finally we have this video and let me put the final footage. So here you can see the last photo, the last uh, picture taken by the drone and it went to the aft part of the ship. Yet we don't know whether Admiral Makarov, the new flagship after Moskva, uh, whether it was destroyed or damaged or what kind of damage uh, it sustained. So far, my friends, there is no any kind of official information. Only official resource here is the Russian Marine Fleet and I think they will not provide any kind of the information to the public. Lavrov, or we call him Tired Horse, say that Russia Russia is ready for the agreements with Ukraine. <laughs> so they want, they are like this uh, big clumsy boxer who missed the punch in the face and now everything is blurry for Russia. All right, we don't know what to do. Let's negotiate. We need the time to build our new forces and fight back. But my friends, our Western allies together with Ukraine will not let Russia to take a breath. We're gonna fight them very hard until they leave Ukrainian territory. So yeah, today's statistics, my friends, 
plus 950 Russian soldiers, so totally they lost 71,200. That's the huge number. I know that these statistics could not be very precise, but it's been confirmed by some of the Russian resources. They basically paid the compensations for the families, and that information became public, and figures there are very close to the number you see nowadays on the screens. With Western weapons, Ukraine is turning the tables in artillery war. It may Means that on the south part of the front line near to Kherson in Kherson region, we have the superiority in artillery over the Russian side. It happened the first time during this war. I think the best artillery system that we have is the Panzerhaubitzer 2000. It's probably the best in the world, but they are still very new and some of the units have some of the bugs. And we sent them to Lithuania and they have the factory there. Germans came to Lithuania, they fixed uh, those Panzer Halbitzes and then they delivered those to Ukraine. Awesome. My friends, I'm gonna keep you updated on situation here in Ukraine. Now, don't forget to press the like to this video. And also, if you want to support me financially, there are some of the links in the video description just below. You may support me on Patreon, PayPal or Donatella, whichever is more convenient for you. I wish you a peaceful sky wherever you are. Have a great time.